Hello everyone and welcome. For today, we'll start the Sargon of Akkad campaign, The Chosen One. And I will read now about what is about the campaign. Sargon, 24th century until the 20, 23rd centuries before Christ. So it's a long, long time ago. An unlikely man rises to power in the city-states of Mesopotamia. Sargon is a simple cupbearer to the king, but everything changes when the war goddess Ishtar appears in his dreams. Under her guidance, Sargon leads the quarreling Sumerians into a new age, but the seductive nature of power forces him to choose between his divine destiny and his personal ambitions. In this campaign, you will play as the Sumerians. Okay, that seems great. Let's go. The Chosen One, the first scenario, and there will be an extra achievement, because if we subdue two enemies, we will get this achievement. So, let's do it. The ways of the gods are incomprehensible. Far more predictable is the path walked by a man who considers himself a god. So too it was for Sargon, the greatest conqueror Mesopotamia has ever known. Like the legendary shepherd that founded our great city, Sargon seemed to have descended from heaven a grown man, crafted by the gods to rule the world. But while his true origins remain a mystery, his earthly story began here, in Kish, a place so beautiful that even the lustrous words of the poets cannot do it justice. Back when I, Ushar, was still a man of youthful strength, Kish was ruled by Urzababa. If the gods had molded Sargon from clouds and ether, Urzababa was made from common clay. Nothing about him was exceptional, save for his fondness for fine food, extravagant clothes, and luxurious wine. Urzababa had appointed Sargon as his cupbearer, and the shy, unassuming adolescent served him wine and kept him company in many a lonely hour. Yet, unbeknownst to the king, Sargon was plagued by a strange recurring dream. Ishtar, the goddess of war, appeared to Sargon in his sleep and promised him extraordinary things. One day, she said, he would be king not only of Kish, but of all the land between the Euphrates and the Tigris. Not realizing the weight of his words, Sargon told his master of the dream, and the king turned pale. Had the boy who served him every day truly been chosen by the goddess of war? Urzababa could not allow this prophecy to come true. He banished Sargon to the desert, and in doing so, he convinced Sargon that the goddess had spoken truly. Yet banishment was not enough for the frightened king. He soon sent Kish's most vigorous warriors to ambush his former confidant among the dunes. I was one of those men. As a smith, I was the strongest, and when Urzababa ordered me to swap my hammer for a sword, I accepted, but not without hesitation. By now, the tale of the banished servant and his dreams had spread far beyond the royal palace. Many who suffered under Urzababa's rule saw Sargon as a savior. When I finally caught up with him at a remote well, he was resting in the shade. I left my sword in its scabbard and faced a man who showed no fear. In his mind, he was no longer a simple servant. He was indeed Ishtar's chosen one. These drawings are very cool, very well made for Return of Rome. The narration is always on point. Sargon and Ushar must survive. Sargon is restricted to the Bronze Age and population limit of 75. You do not have means to build docks yet. Sumerian villagers, high, uh, villagers high, high hit points make them more resistant to wild animals and early enemy rushes. Their fertile farms also yield more food than those of other civilizations. 
priesthoods, loyal to Urzababa, lead the city-states of Sipar and Borsipa. Destroy their temples and buildings your, your own, where they once stood, will convince the cities to join your cause instead. Okay. Hmm. So we must destroy their temples and build uh, temples of our own. Then we get the two cities that we were supposed to get for the achievement. Do not hesitate to use Sargon in battle once you have obtained a base. Should he, he be wounded, he will retreat to your temple and return to the fight after he has recovered. Your scouts report. After being banished from Kish, Sargon, one blue, has reached a spring where he can quench his thirst after days of wandering. Another wonder has arrived. Is he a friend or an enemy? Ooh. Urzababa is not satisfied with Sargon's exile. Some of the king's infantry and archers, three orange, are roaming the area, probably tasked with assassinating Sargon. Urzababa himself, too, red, dwells in his capital of Kish, guarded by a strong force of priests and chariots. To overthrow Urzababa, Sargon must storm Kish, which is defended by infantry, archers, and catapults. Sipar, Six Rin, and Borsipa, Seven Purple, are cities ruled by priests loyal to Urzababa. Sipar's army consists of archers and catapults, where Borsipas primarily use short swordsmen and axemen. Mm. Urzababa has sent assassins to kill me? How would you know that if you are not one of them yourself? You are perceptive, Sargon. I understand why Urzababa fears you so much, but there is no time to talk. Let me prove my loyalty to you. There is the traitor called Sargon. What are you waiting for, Shah? Help us hunt down the renegade. Zababa will send more assassins. We cannot stay here. But I know of two villages where we could hide for a while. I think this one is better. I mean, it's pretty defended. But I don't know. This one is faster to get. It is Sargon, the chosen one, who it is said will lead us Sumerians into a new age. You may stay with us as long as you wish, and we will support your cause. Hilare, on this. Hilare. Oh, it's so long to get the first villager going. Oh, Lord. Get something here. Our market is open to you. Do not hesitate to send your merchants to us to trade. Yuri? Tarai? Yuri? Yuri? Zao Kanta. Zomas. Rogan? Zao Kanta. Zomas. Rogan? Alamas. Zomas. Zomas. Yuri? No, you are holed up in a CD village, Sargon. My scouts are everywhere. You can escape neither my eyes nor your face. Yeah, nothing special here. Or some from, some from enemies here for Uza, Uza Baba. Alam Alamas. Yuri Zamas. Zamas. Yoga? Ombus. Yuri? Zelkanta. Ombus. Badai. Alamas. Ombus. Ombus. Yuri? Zamas. Zamas. Rocket. Yoga? Ready, Marsh. 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 Yoga? Rogan? Ombus. Zalkanta. Ombilare. Alamas. 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 
Urzababa rules not only Kish, but also Zippar and Borsippa. It is time that these places bow to Ishtar's will. Okay, Pilare, Hombis, Yuri, Rogan, Rogan, Hombis, Pilare, Hombis, Hombis, Darai, Darai, Hombis, Hombis, Yuri, Hombis, Hombis. Urza Baba's forces have occupied several mines in this area. We should seize them. Alamas, 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 Alamas. You probably use only the units. Yuri, Alamas, An attack on the heavily guarded southern gates of Kish will cost many lives. Our scouts report that the gates to the north are barely protected, however. That's good news for the assassination. And now I need to get with these two temples done and also build another one on top of the destroyed ones. Maybe she said they probably will attack me at any time. Alam, 
Oklahoma. Babadakis. Babadakis. Thomas. Babadakis. Thomas. Oklahoma. America. Oh, 
No more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes to tend to my wounds. Yuri, on this, Oklamas. Here is Thomas. Oh. Attempt. Oh. 
Shakar's place of worship is destroyed. Build a new temple over its ruins so that the inhabitants of the city will follow Ishtar. Zippar were once blinded by the sun god, but they have now seen the light. Their warriors will make fine additions to Ishtar's army. Which will save me a lot of time, by the way. Plus one enemy Let's go. Uh, try to get also this gold mine for me. You know, it's not a secondary objective or anything. Oh, amazing. They will also pay tribute to Lare. So that was it. So we just got the gold mines. Nothing else. Okay. Oh, I 
of Borzipa's temple but smoking ruins. Build a new place of worship here so that the people can henceforth dedicate their lives to Ishtar. No, don't kill, don't kill. Inhabitants of Borzipa worship Nabu, the god of learning and writing. From now on, they will revere the power of the sword with which we will smash Urzababa's weak rule. Ulare, Tarai, Tarai, Alam Alamas, Alam Alam Alamas. Uh, yeah, that center with some heavy troops and smashing him. Rogan? Rogan, Alamas, Alamas. Tarai, 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 Alamas. Maybe some good and classic. Ooh. Do we have an entrance here? Like uh, here, here? Some good traditional speech with the It is sacrilege to tear down the temples of pious men, Zargon. Is this your idea of a new order? You are building on quicksand, my friend. <laughs> Okay, I wanna check the expiration. Abadakus. Rogan? Alamari? Alamalamalamombis. From my land, Zargon. Remember that I exiled you from peace. Abadak 
victorious and not cutting corners achievement completed very good as we entered the royal palace in Kish, I swelled with joy and pride. Sargon had triumphed, and it seemed that this man, blessed by Ishtar, was truly invincible. Yet in my quiet moments, I wondered if it would ever have come to this if Urzababa had not expelled Sargon. Had we fulfilled a prophecy? Or had a simple dream become prophecy only after the fearful king sealed his own fate? Dreams and oracles, visions and prophecies, it seems that these mysterious forces can be as dangerous to those who believe in them as they are to those who ignore them. Ooh, that was interesting. Very good. Plate of resources. Yeah, it was good. Very straightforward. Build an economy. Uh, oppress your enemy. And also you can actually convert them by utilizing a temple after you destroy. That was a pretty unique, very good mechanic that they had added. That was very good. Let's return to that. This area was impossible to reach. The mine is you can destroy, but only to get the gold for you. And after that, yeah, they were just uh, automatically killing all of their units. With the extra gold that they get, do not inflict anything of difference. It's just a good place for you to get gold. Karai, Yuri. Yeah, they okay, now rebuild here. That was good. That was good. Very good. GG, folks. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.